hello as friends uh, welcome to my blog ias with mahesh so today we will be discuss uh, hindu newspaper so today a little bit important articles is there we will be discuss uh, one by one and uh, if it is possible you can make it a uh, separate notes for this uh, current affairs so let us start for uh, hindu newspaper so tamil nadu uh, global investors summit uh, 2024 uh, january 7 to 8 uh, uh, like uh, tomorrow itself uh, they will start for this investment it is uh, uh, coming for this current affairs uh, uh, topic also inaugural ceremony january 7 to 8 since so what is that uh, tamil nadu global investor summit 2024 uh, like uh, mr stalin uh, this uh, uh, he inaugural address says that and chief guest uh, uh, Pius Goyal is the Honorable Union Minister of Commerce and Industry, uh, Consumer Affairs and uh, Food and the Public uh, Distribution and the Textile also. So what is the advantages of uh, Tamil Nadu? So first of all, highest uh, number of uh, factories in India and uh, uh, one more thing uh, in the electronic hardware export uh, and uh, hard auto and auto components export uh, and uh, second uh, largest state economy in india and 43 percent of india industrial women workforce strength 70 percent of india uh, ev uh, two-wheeler manufacturing so these are the advantages of uh, tamil nadu by conducting this uh, uh, global investors uh, <coughs> uh, meet uh, summit uh, this one so tomorrow itself uh, it will start from this uh, uh, meeting so now we will read for only uh, exam point of view we can cover this one uh, because uh, we are only focusing on uh, exam point of view today tomorrow or next day uh, i will explain about uh, how to read hindu newspaper like uh, beginners is there like who are uh, who wants to improve our english uh, so how to read and what kind of uh, topics we have to read in the newspaper uh, that things uh, i can explain how later on but today only uh, examination point of view i will explanation uh, today just you have to see that uh, what kind of uh, topics we have to read what kind of uh, topics we have to avoid that things also must and should learn it while reading the newspaper okay uh, let us start for the current affairs session India's uh, GDP estimated to grow uh, by 7.3 percentage. So this year, uh, how much estimation? Uh, 7.3 percentage of uh, GDP estimation is there. So NSO data, National Statistical Organization data, uh, released. So India real GDP growth uh, in 23, uh, 2023, 2024 is estimated at uh, uh, 7.3 percentage of uh, compared to 7.2 percentage uh, a year ago as per the first advance estimates of national in income released by the national statistical organization on friday which uh, rockon wait, wait so national statistical office on friday uh, which rockon the economy will outform the seven percent outfit recently projected by the reserve bank of india uh, with gdp growth in the first half of this year uh, uh, clocking 7.7 percent the nso advance estimates uh, the rule on the data for the first six to eight months of uh, a year and on the half of the union budget uh, formulation indicate the second half of the growth will be about 6.9 percentage to 7 percentage interestingly the nso exports the growth in the gross value added uh, in the economy too is uh, slightly from 7.7 7 in 2022 2023 to 6.9 this year and the page okay leave it nominal gdp growth 88.9 percent is compared to the 10.5 percent budget estimated estimate this could uh, translate into the physical deficit breathing in the year 5.9 percent of the gdp target uh, to hit around six percentage echo and mr uh, question and uh, gva growth for the uh, farm sector is estimated to more than half of uh, four percent of year ago to 1.8 percent this year is uh, as like the case of uh, trade hotels uh, transport uh, communication and uh, services so this is called uh, uh, nso data and just to have to remember for that uh, that's some more than enough and uh, one more thing 
so this is not uh, an important only just to, we need to focus on important topics only so this is also important uh, article we will read so madras high court was a uh, right to let uh, cm decide uh, supreme court uh, order given the supreme court on friday Friday said the Madras High Court uh, did a right to uh, restrain itself and pass the ball to Tamil Nadu uh, Chief Minister MK Stalin to take a call about the co constituency of uh, Central Balaji as a minister without a portfolio. Uh, Mr. Central Balaji is uh, involved in a money laundering case uh, uh, linked to the cash for a job scam. The order is correct. We, we concur with the decision taken by the High Court. No interference is called for the petition is dismissed. Justice A.S. Woka addressed Advocate M.L. Ravi, the petitioner in person. The High Court had asked the Chief Minister to take a decision on Mr. Senthal Balaji. Senthal Balaji prospect in the government even as it uh, pointedly observed that a minister without a portfolio is a constitutional uh, travesty. A political compulsion cannot uh, overwatch the public mortality requirements of goods, a clear governance, and constitutional morality. Justice Oka also agreed with the High Court uh, finding that the governor did not have the discretionary power to unilaterally dismiss a government minister so this is the uh, case of a governor versus a minister what is what happening like this uh, supreme court uh, given judgment for this issue so uh, remaining article we can see here so So, Sentry DG Yatra enrollment uh, takes off an airport security staff sign off of flyers without their consent. Uh, so, not at all issue that one. So, ED team riding to normal readers' uh, residency checked. So, this is also not required. I uh, will see another part. Uh, just a headline so we can see here. Etiko Pa Aka Choice C is urgency, but who will shape the figure? <coughs> so not required this one so <laughs> so it is not good So Revanth meets uh, Rajanath uh, seeks a uh, transfer of uh, defense alliance to build a uh, elevated corridor. Okay, and that is uh, not at all issue. So editorial page is there. Uh, so today that is not uh, that much not important for this article. So the need for need to examine the examination system. So total overall view or a presentation given by that examination systems uh, or how it will work out or what we can do uh, so decentralized systems and assessment of quality and uh, steps to take uh, and how we will uh, improvement uh, how we will motivate to the students uh, everything in the given for this article so it is not uh, important for examination point of view that's the reason i skip to that one so bringing back uh, the faith in Indian politics <coughs> this completely political issue is there uh, this is also uh, no need to read that much important just if you have time in suggest you can read it uh, uh, no problem acknowledge the behavior on both sides uh, and the effect of the anti-defection law so anti-defection law little bit uh, important just we can see over uh, so uh, there a uh, need to the constructive discussion on how to restore trust in politics uh, like this one statement is that so anti-defection law this uh, uh, brings us to the second issue which individuals across the country lines are concerned about the health of our democracy can taken up uh, much has been written about how the anti-defection law uh, subvert representative democracy by the constraining legislature to pay leadership uh, discard uh, 
However, uh, there has no been enough discussion on the second order effect of the anti-defection law on inner party democracy and issue uh, based on mobilization across the parties. It is a common knowledge that power in all political. Uh, so many issues uh, they are given in the politically. So I think it is uh, not uh, used that much important. Uh, so we can see uh, building a city around your temple. Uh, January, I think, 24, maybe inauguration period is there. So they are uh, doing construction, everything works, the pending works, uh, everything they are uh, doing. Supreme Court issues a notice over a plea uh, seeking norms uh, on a seizure for uh, devices. Uh, okay, I'll leave it here. <coughs> so recently, one more thing issue happened. Police should get uh, a training on a new uh, criminal law. So recently, they introduced a criminal law. Uh, so in the the meeting, honor Home Minister Ramisha at the 58th DGP or uh, IGPS conference in uh, uh, Jaipur on uh, Friday. So 58th uh, uh, meeting, I think this one. Okay, a little bit. I uh, will read this topic. Union Home Minister Amisha on Friday inaugurated uh, the three-day annual conference on uh, Director General of Police and uh, Inspector General of uh, Police in Jaipur, where he stressed uh, the need to train police officials for the uh, successful implementation of the three criminal laws uh, that were notified in December. So, Mr. Shah, while addressing the conference attended by the top police officials of the country in hybrid mode, uh, Stressed the need for um, a training of officials from station house uh, officers to GD, uh, DGP. He emphasized um, uniformity of uh, stresses, seeds, and uh, skills of uh, counter terrorism uh, terror mechanism across the country. He mentioned uh, that um, the new laws were focused on delivery of uh, justice instead of uh, punishment, and uh, the laws would be transformed the criminal justice system as the most modern and scientific the date of implementation of the three legislation bharatiya nyaya sanhita bharatiya nagarik suraksha sanhita and bharatiya uh, saksha bharatiya saksha so three uh, uh, laws is there one is the bharatiya nyaya sanhita bharatiya nagarik suraksha sanhita and bharatiya saksha is H to be an announced by the Home Minister. Prime Minister Nandra Modi will attend the conference on Saturday and Sunday. He will hold a discuss with the senior police officers on key internal security subject. Mr. Shah outlined the need for linking of databases and adopting artificial intelligence and a driven analytical approach for tackling emergency security challenges. The Home Minister pointed out to, to an overall improvement in the security scenario in the country since 2014, such as the reduction of violence in the uh, three criminal hotspots, Jammu and Kashmir, Northeast, and the left wing extremism affected area. So, these this, uh, things. Uh, happen in that uh, this should be how to remember new uh, last uh, three new last is there we have to remember that one so dg yatra enrollment checks of dg yatra okay so what is that uh, remaining issue so this one also we can read it important uh, what is that uh, so Election Commission watch to Ramesh uh, uh, dismisses uh, concern over EVM and VVPAD. So poll body says uh, it has uh, full faith uh, in the use of EVM in election. It says uh, Congress leader has not raised any uh, doubt that require further clarification. The Election Commission on Friday dismissed the concern arrived by the Congress leader Jairam Ramesh an electronic uh, voting machine and uh, what are very verifiable paper audit trial VV pad saying there were no new assertion or reasonable or legitimate doubts which require further clarification the rules governing paper slip in VV pad were introduced by the Congress led government in 2014 the election commission said in a communication to 
to the Congress General Secretary. The poll body further asserted that it had a full faith in the use of the EVM in the elections and said that the updated frequently asked a question, answer and adequately and comprehensively all reasonable and legitimate aspects on the use of the EVM in the elections. Ramesh Lachar. Ramesh had on the December 30th written to Chief Election Commissioner Rajiv Kumar seeking an opportunity for uh, three or four leaders from the Indian National Development uh, Inclusive Alliance India to meet uh, him to put forward their uh, point of view on EVM and VVPAD. He said uh, their uh, previous uh, six uh, letters uh, uh, seeking previous uh, which which so previous uh, six letters uh, seeking appointments uh, since August uh, nine had not. Uh, cited a positive response the letter had come against the back backdrop of a resolution adopted the December 19 meeting of the NDA block uh, which said uh, they reach how right the many doors they have no integrity of the functioning of EVM and uh, demand and that the VV pad slip for filing in the box should be handed over the uh, water who shall then place it in a, a separate ballot box after having verified his or her choice. On Friday, the EC letter signed by the Pramod Kumar Sharma, Principal Secretary in the EC, said that uh, Rule Number 49A and 49M of the Conduct of uh, Election Rules 1961 governing VVPAD and hand handing of a paper slip were introduced by INC. Indian National Congress on August 14, 2013. The recent letter dated December 30, 2023 does not raise any unresponded issue on EVM or VVPAD. Mr. Sharma said, adding that it has no new assertion or reasonable or legitimate doubts which require further clarifications. Based on the outcomes of the election con election conducted using EVM, a legal framework established a jurisdiction jurisdiction C technical security and administrative safeguards and the commission has a full of faith in the use of EVM in the elections the election commission said that the political parties and the candidates were associated at every stage of a handling of the EVM like storage movement training randomization commissioning and mock poll start of poll close of poll and counting so everything they are giving in the details of uh, uh, EVM and uh, VVPAD, uh, he wrote, he wrote uh, a letter to the election commission. So commission given role play. So this is the important topics. So we will see another topics is there. So cabinet uh, gives not to a Prithvi program for earth observation. So this is also a little bit important. Uh, Ministry of Earth Sciences uh, like this one also a little bit important topic is there. You can see here. Any another topic? See this is what uh, today paper. Uh, it is not uh, an important other part. Okay, this is a completely today in the paper. Uh, just uh, a few articles is there. What that is a very important article. You can make it uh, separate notes uh, for this article because uh, it is uh, a lot of helpful for that uh, coming prelims or mains or any other exams. Also, it is useful. So a daily uh, like uh, we have to see uh, two dimension in this paper one is uh, examination point of view and another is um, uh, like um, a communication point of view like uh, improving our english skills or um, reading skills uh, like that one aspect you can read it and another aspect uh, like only examination point of view we did not read any other content only focus on examination point of view so that things we have to do it if you do if you read regularly means we can get it easily some vocabularies and some sentences how to read and how to make it some sentences and some grammar part everything you should know about 
uh, this uh, newspaper that's the reason every day you have to read it at least 30 minutes uh, or one hour for a day if you read it means uh, automatically you will get it uh, uh, some fluency or uh, some techniques about this uh, reading skills okay this is what today uh, paper so tomorrow we will be check another part okay till then bye bye